We want to walk the runway naked. Guys, this video got a little out of control, to say the least. My booty's better! So, let me start in the very beginning and just explain what happened here. So, Jeff and I both used to be professional fashion models. I used to work for big underwear campaigns, fashion shows all over New York, Milan, Singapore, LA. While Jeff was very successfully modeling old men's underwear back in Tennessee. And towards the end of our insane Euro trip, we randomly ended up in Italy during Milan Fashion Week. And guys, of course, we wanted to make a statement, a fashion statement, so we pulled out the Borat suit I gave Jeff for his birthday. The outfit is just, it's its a little aggressive. <laughs> more support actually your ball is hanging out so we decided to be lame and put on some underwear and to make it more family friendly some people ask me Mario why the fuck would you do this in public I share freedom of self-expression I don't want anybody out there to wonder if it's okay to wear something if it feels right to you then you have the goddamn right to do it and that's what we want to achieve in this video thanks so much let's do it guys I was nervous I was afraid of judgment of other people but I know that every single time I get out of my comfort zone and do something crazy I just become become more confident that there's something I can learn every single time. So as always, like this video right now, and I hate bringing this up every single time, but I truly believe that my butt currently looks the best it's ever looked. So give it a hand to my butt, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and uh, now just enjoy this crazy video that you should definitely watch until the end, because that shit got fucking out of control. I think this kind of stuff, you just gotta like act like it's normal, you know? Strut, strut. Ciao, ciao. Quattro formaggi, pizza funghi. Strut, strut. So we want to find a way into Milan Fashion Week. Can you help us? Of course I cannot. But Do you think this is fashion? No, no, no. Fashion for me is elegance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll show you elegance, okay? Tell me about elegance, right? No, it's a borat. It's a borat, okay. Mamma mia pizza. It is Milan Fashion Week, Castellan. You're sagging the trend, right? This is summer season 2022. Where is my press kit? We'll do <laughs> it's about body positivity. I'm all for that. You guys have a lot to express, so I don't know if I have all that. I've seen your Instagram, you have a lot of it, lot to express too. <laughs> sure you do. Ciao. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm from Germany and we're trying to you can see that? <laughs> We're trying to find a fashion show for Milan Fashion Week. Can you get us in? No, I'm not really into fashion. I mean, I could begin from now on. <laughs> Hold on one second. Is she flirting with me? Is that what's happening? Like she was literally not making eye contact with me, which is surprising. You know, I thought we we're definitely going to attract more of a gay audience. Jeff, look gorgeous, by the way. Huh? Yo, oh my God. I, not that you're bad, but can you choose who is the more gorgeous of the two? Prada and Gucci, Versace, B and G, Dior. Both of you are said she can take both. <laughs> I don't know if she can take both of us, you know? That's a lot of like wood to bring into the barn, you know? I don't even know what that means. We want to walk the runway for Milan Fashion Week. Like this, you don't run to a fashion week, you probably run to prison. No photos here, no photos here, okay? No, put the camera away. I told my manager you can't do this. You guys look great. I love your outfit. Who looks better, Jeff or me? Do you like 59 year old or do you like a young European stallion? Young European stallion. I got one, I got one. At the end of this day, okay, whoever gets voted the better looking Borat is gonna have to do something really crazy. You're saying the loser. That's what I said. You can play it back. <laughs> okay, play it back. <laughs> Riley, you got any ideas on this one? Because what's worse than what we're doing? If I had to take my cup out, that would be bad. How about the loser is gonna have to do something really sexual like the cinnamon challenge naked the loser's gonna have to go to the club go up to the podium and dance in a borat suit count me in this is fashion this is fashion gotta have it all it's always gonna have it on always have it on ciao ciao quattro formaggi pizza funghi between the both of us who do you think wears the borat suit better go with your heart uh he, he wears it better <laughs> god fucking damn it all right he seems like the kind of person who knows gucci i think he's friends with mr gucci hypothetically in a fantasy world if you have had to kiss one of us, who would you choose? I think, uh... That's how we come back strong! It's over. It's over between us. I thought we had this, but it's over. But you mean bonita. It's Italian! So Kevin Roldan, you're currently walking around with us, and you, for some reason, look actually better than us. I feel like I am taking on the role of I'm your manager. So you follow me, we go to our important lunch now. Okay, now. mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. This is fashion. Fashion. Where are the shows? Where are the shows? Does anybody know here any fashion shows? Cinque euro per foto. Okay. Thanks so much. We want to walk for Gucci. For Gucci. And guys, this next moment is very hard for me to watch. 
because this is the moment when Jeff Caster realized that he might still be a little bit straight. Thank you, thank you. He was checking her butt out so much. We, I thought this meant something. We've gone through so much on this trip. You know, we became boyfriends. We had our first kiss. I teabagged you in the face. I got a butt tattoo with your name. But I see how it is, you know? One Italian lady shows up. It's all out the window for Jeff. Verdammte scheiß Amerikaner. I'm keine Loyalität mehr. All right, guys, now some models have to eat right now here at an Italian restaurant. The beef steak for two, but it's just for me. And unlike Jeff, I take my profession as a model seriously. Therefore, my dinner tonight. Who do you think looks better in the Borat suit? Him or me? Him? But your booty's better. My booty's better! Jeff Kasser's been dethroned! No, 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 no. So you would say we should go to like an expensive area where like people yes, with power are? Yes, we should go in Via Monte Napoleone. Via Monte Napoleone, that's where we're going. Worst idea ever. Via Monte Napoleone is a very famous shopping street with some of the best high-end shopping like Gucci, Versace, Prada. And they also have tons of Italian carabinieri. They call them the fashion police of Italy. They just didn't like our outfit. Fit so much. But this is fashion. Fashion week, Milano Fashion Week. What's the problem? What like problem? A, like a passport? Or? Problem. <laughs> problem. <laughs> Milano Fashion Week, freedom of self expression. Milan, as much as it claims to be the fashion capital of the world, just hurt my soul by not allowing freedom of self expression. I am someone who believes in the freedom of self expression. You know what? Let's just let's just go. I think an arrest is pretty soon on the horizon, so. I'm Guys, I really thought they were just gonna come up to us and respectfully ask us to leave, to not take any footage, to maybe put on some clothing. But instead, they straight up wanted to find something to blame us for and immediately went up to Kevin to ask him for his identification. <laughs> That's a little fucked up if you ask me, because out of all of us, Kevin is the least suspicious. Riley's filming us, we're wearing what we're wearing. Kevin is literally just being himself. And that is something I've realized a lot in Italy, which is that a lot of people are doing some sort of racial profiling. I know in Italy, there's a huge issue with refugees, people who are in Italy illegally, but just going up straight to Kevin, just because he might look different I think that's really fucked up and guys the funny thing is that while we're being detained and the police was so rude to us all the people around us were still celebrating us a couple of subscribers even came up to me to take photos while the police was interrogating me not the recognized. And the whole situation is so messed up because the same week for Milan Fashion Week, JLo, tons of girls are wearing sexy dresses walking all over Milan for some Fashion Week press events. It almost seems like men are not allowed to be sexy anymore these days. What's the law? What's the law we're breaking? And I think it is because a lot of people still associate a man dressing sexy or in a Borat costume or wearing Speedos as a gay man. And a lot of times, especially in more conservative places that is considered something bad that has to be stopped and prevented and that has to be punished but I want to say fuck all these expectations let's just be open as man express ourselves however the fuck we want no matter if you're gay straight let's just live our lives bro and when I say bro I mean you Italian police let's just celebrate that openness instead of punishing people and being so rude to people who just want to have a good time and express themselves so I got a message from Mario in the group chat saying, run with the camera. So Mario and Jeff got kicked out Detained. of Italy. I meant to watch Arrivederci. <laughs> I was so scared, man. I thought I lost you in there, you know? Guys, quick update. So the police came, basically arrested us, detained us for like over an hour. And I was there saying like, oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Police Officer. I'll do anything you want. What can I do for you? In the meantime, my friend Jeffrey here was like, this is trash. I'm American. I plead the fifth. <laughs> What's the law? What's the law we're breaking? You cannot wear that. What's the law on the book? There's a law on the books. The law is, this is one of the best moments of my life and I'm glad to be sharing it with you. And it will be represented on the bromance calendar, representing Milan Fashion Week. I'm loving this and this is very fun. Beautiful, Jeff. It's gonna get even more beautiful because after this, we're gonna go to Fashion Week party. Three, two, one. Happy birthday, Jeffy!
And guys, it would have been so fucking easy to just enjoy the birthday, have a chill time. But I did not want our Borat suit experience to end with an arrest in Milan. So we decided to finish our dare from the beginning and to celebrate openness of self-expression at a club in Milano wearing the Borat suit. I wonder, can we be arrested twice in one day? Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, my last couple of videos, they all got age restricted. This song would definitely be copyrighted. So I'm just gonna substitute the original club song with one of my favorite songs in the world called Bro Job by Mario Adria. My balls can finally breathe. Ugh. Ugh. I'm too old for this shit. And I realized once again how fun it is to do shit that's scary. I was not feeling comfortable just now getting up in the club, but I did it and it was such a high and it just makes me more confident every time I do it. And I think life is just more fun once you do shit that you're afraid of as well. Like this video, subscribe to the channel because we're definitely gonna do this again in another country. The next time we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this in Abu Dhabi. Abu <laughs> Dhabi. Uh, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> like this video if you agree with the message that men, just like women, should also be allowed to express themselves and be sexy. Comment below right now and let me know if you think if Jeff's butt looks better or if my butt looks better. Let's talk about the important life questions here. I fucking love you guys. Always keep smiling. Say yes more often and I'll see you guys in my next video. I've been flying from town to town.